Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Heidi White, and I work for the First Year Advising Center at CBU. Uh, today, I'll be chatting with Vanessa Viva, who works at the International Student Center, and she'll be talking about the center and what it does for the students in which it serves. So I'm going to start off by asking you, Vanessa, um, can you tell us a little bit about the International Student Center and the supports it provides for international students? Yeah, for sure. Um, so at the International Student Study Abroad Center, we help international students with all kinds of different things. Um, so we would help students with their immigration documents, so study permit extensions, um, their visas, co-op work permits, that sort of thing. So any questions students may have in terms of, you know, how do they go about applying for these documents, um, any questions they have just about the document themselves, they can come and ask us. Um, and we're more than happy to help them out in that regard. We also administer the International Health Plan, so the Guard Me Health Plan. Um, and we also help help students navigate life through Canada. So, you know, that could mean, you know, how to get a bus pass, how to get a social insurance number, how to understand what it means to have a landlord and, and rent. Uh, in Canada and all sorts of stuff like that. And then also we have social events. So it's, you know, there's lots of fun stuff too that we do. So we would host, um, you know, holiday events. Um, we would host uh, speakers on campus. Uh, so speakers from the office of Nova Scotia Office of Immigration, as well as Canadian uh, IRCC. <laughs> um, and uh, lots of stuff like that. So we kind of do a lot of different things, but we are kind of the, the place where international students can come to get uh, some information and advice and kind of, you know, that sort of thing. Awesome, thank you. Um, so what should international students do if they have any questions or how could they get help online? So if international students have questions, we certainly encourage them to reach out to myself and my colleague Danelda Johnston Roper. Um, so they can always send us an email. Um, they can call us. Our phone numbers are on the website. Text us if they text us, sorry, if they wanted to. Um, we can set up Teams calls or Zoom calls. Um, and we certainly encourage students to reach out to us because I know, you know, students have lots of questions and there's lots of uncertainty and uh, we, we want them to reach out to us. So any any way that they feel most comfortable is best. Awesome. Um, and then just to end, um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, so I would like to add, you know, what I said before that if students have questions, they should they should certainly reach out to Donaldo or, or myself um, because we're more than happy to chat and we really do want to get to know students and, you know, that means new students, but we also want to connect with our returning students as well. So we want to make sure that students know that the, the door is always open and we're accommodating to students. So we want to make sure that they feel most comfortable in how they're interacting with us. So we'll be flexible in whatever that means. Um, and we want to meet we want to meet the students. So uh, always reach out and if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask any questions that you have. Awesome. Thank you so much, Vanessa.